Solving trigonometric equations, question 5. Determine approximate solutions to the nearest hundredth radian for 3 times square x minus 4 equals to 0, where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay, let's solve this equation, which is 3 times square x minus 4 equals to 0. So we can take 4 to the other side, we get 3 times square x equals to 4 and then we can write this as tan square x equals to 4 over 3 and therefore tan x equals to square root of 4 over 3 remember whenever you do square root you have to write plus and minus because both are your right answers you know Square of minus 2 is also 4. Square of 2 is also 4. So both plus and minus. Okay. Remember that. Now, how to find the angle x? One angle we can always find and we say, well, x is equal to tan inverse of square root 4 over 3. So that will give us one of the angles. But how are we going to find the other angles? So let's look into that also before using calculator to find this angle. So let's look into the coordinate system. Since we need all the answers between 0 to 2 pi, here we have 4 quadrants and tan will have some value in all the 4 quadrants, right? Now we're looking for plus and minus, so Castro says tan is going to C-A-S-T. So tan is going to be negative in these two, positive in these two. But either case, we need both the answers. So that is fine. So all the four quadrants. So what should be the answers? Let us say we find one related acute angle, alpha. Then the other answers should be how much? That's what we need to figure out. So our answers are alpha, which we get here. The other one is that one. So these are alphas, right? Do you see that? Okay, I should have used a different ink. Let me draw it again and show you what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's say that the four solutions are these. Let me draw these lines. So because we are going to have solutions in all the four quadrants and our angle alpha is the solution which we are going to find from here. The answers which we are really interested in writing are four. One, this angle alpha. Second, this angle. Third, this angle. And the fourth one is all the way up to this place. So these are the four solutions which we are looking for. That means we have angle alpha as one solution. Second is pi minus alpha, second one is pi minus alpha, and the third one is pi plus alpha, right? Pi plus alpha, and the fourth one is 2 pi minus alpha, right? Why 2 pi minus alpha? Because this is alpha, related acute angle is alpha, and we are finding the principal angle. So these are all the solutions which we should write to get full marks, right? So let's do uh, square root of 4 divided by 3 and we get some number and we'll do tan inverse of this, right? So tan inverse of this function gives us the answer as, so right here, alpha x, which is also one of our solutions, therefore I'm using x here, 0 0.857. Zero. Okay, now that is our angle alpha and that is one solution to this, right? The other solution is pi minus alpha and pi plus alpha and 2 pi minus alpha, right? So let's do this. We'll find what is pi minus alpha, which is pi minus alpha is 0 0.8570, which is 2.2. 8, 4, we'll round it to 100 soon, okay? And then we have pi plus alpha, and so we say pi plus 
3.857 which is 3.998 and then we have 2 pi minus alpha right so we'll say 2 times pi minus 0.857 equals to 5.426 and we know what alpha is alpha is 0 0.8 8570. Correct? So these are the four answers we get. Since we need to approximate them to 100th radian, we say our solution is, so we'll write down the solution here as x is equal to, let me just draw a line here separating the work we did, and the solution is rounding to 100th places, making it two decimal places, which is 0. 86 and that is 2.29 this one is 4.00 and that one is 5.43 so these are all in radians correct so these are our answers for x in radians so my point here is that don't forget to give all possible solutions there are four solutions for this correct so use your calculator to calculate but while you are calculating pi plus minus alphas you have to use four decimal places and then round them to two okay thank you